Hey guys, what's going on? Joe here for Mobile Cup of Joe. In today's episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to show you all how to make your little Android phone look like Windows Phone 7. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee, go fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your Mobile Cup of Joe. Alright, so this is actually a very easy process, and it's actually probably simpler than you think. So to make your phone look like Windows Phone 7, all you gotta do is go to your Google Play Store. And we're gonna search for, gonna up here, search for Launcher and 7. And we're going to search that. And it is right here. It's Launcher 7 by Timo Kujala. And you're going to want to just download that. It's only a 2.05 megabyte download. So it is a very, very small file size. And after you download that, you're going to go back to your home screen. And it should look something like this. Except there won't be as many tiles on mine. I've added all these tiles. And I believe it comes with like one or like around four tiles, I believe, when you first install it. Now, while that's the easy process, there are a couple little tricks on how to get your different tiles and stuff on here. So now, if you go to your settings bu button, you're going to see that you have an option for launch your seven settings, add a special tile. So if you want to add a tile, go to add a special tile, and you're going to want to click mail tile. Now, right here, you're going to want to hit pick application, and you're going to choose what application you want this to launch. So let's say we want to launch a calculator app. And then you're just going to swipe your screen over. And where it says title, this is what it's going to say the app is. So we're going to change that to calculator. And once you have that, just hit your back button. And then right here, you can choose a stock bitmap. We're going to click on that. And from here, you can choose a different icon for it to display. We're going to obviously choose the ca calculator one, but there are a range of different bitmaps you can choose from. Now, where it says um, you can bonus bitmaps, I've tried this, but I have never had any luck um, going anywhere with this. So you're not really going to be able to get any other bitmaps aside from the ones that you have here. Or after that, you hit on calculator, and then you hit create mail tile on the bottom. And it's going to give you a warning, but you're going to hit yes. So now, if we scroll down, you see we have a calculator tile. Now, if you want to edit your tile, just hold it down. And you can either delete it right there on the right, or edit it on the left. We're going to delete it. And that's the process of adding a tile. You can move tiles around by holding it down and moving it around the screen where you want to put it. And just tap the blank spot to uh, get it back to normal. And if you want to move an application back, or a tile back, just hold it down and drag it to the spot that you want it, and your screen will automatically adjust to fill in any open space. Now you can add widget tiles, and I'll show you what they look like. I've never been a huge fan of them with Launcher 7, just because they look very unfinished. So we're actually going to go to Settings, Add Special Tile, we're going to click on Widget Tile, and now let's say we want to use an analog clock, for example. We're going to click that, and you can choose tile size if you want one by one, or two by one. We're going to choose two by one. And then you can choose if you want to make the widget cover the full tile. And then we are going to create the tile. So now when we scroll, you see that we have, while we do have the widget clock, it is stretched and just looks uh, very crappy. So while you can add widgets, which widgets are actually one of the main selling points of the Android operating system, you can have them on Launcher 7, but they don't work that well. So then yeah, we'll just delete it. Now, if you want to change the color of your tiles or the background, just hit the settings button again, go to Launcher 7 settings. And from here, you can choose your tile color. You can choose from a few stock ascents. Or you can actually make your own custom color. And that's actually really helpful to get very customizable with the colors of it. You can also choose a background color if you want black or white or a system wallpaper. But in terms of customization, that's about it. And Android, again, one of the main selling points is customization. But... Uh, with Launcher 7, while you still get to choose the colors of your tiles and everything, it's far less customizable, but it's just a very, very fast way to get in and out of what you need to do. Um, Android is great with the five home screens and everything, but sometimes you just want to turn on your phone and be able to see, you know, there's my phone application right there and back out, or, you know, there's my messaging. 
go right there and back out. So it's just really helpful. And uh, one more thing, you see this little arrow here on the right? If we click on that, we get a list of all of our applications on our device in alphabetical order, which is really nice if you need to find an application really quick. And if you hit the search button right there, you can actually search for a name of your application. So it's really easy to find what you're looking for. And from here, if you click on a letter, you can choose on the letter of the application you're looking for. So if we hit, for example, N, it'll show us that we have navigation and news and weather under N section. So to get back to your t home screen or your tiles, just hit that arrow again. And you go back. You can also access it by just swiping it or hitting a the arrow. They both do the exact same thing. Now, if you notice on here, there was an ad at the bottom of the screen. Oh, this application, or this launcher, I, I should say, is free. You can see the ad. But there is a paid version you have to get if you want to disable the advertisements. I am not fully aware of how much it does cost. I'll put a little title in here after I find out when I'm editing the video. But it really doesn't get in the way of the enjoyment. Launcher 7, for me anyways, has been really great. I've been using it for probably a month now. And it's just a really, really great launcher. I've enjoyed my time with it extremely well. And I just highly, highly recommend it for people that want to get their hands on Windows Phone 7 uh, that have an Android phone or just want a quick and easy to access launcher if they want to get in and out of their phone. But there you guys have a how-to guide on how to get Launcher 7 on your Android phone. Uh, drop a comment down below and let us know what you think of Launcher 7. If you have Launcher 7, how do you like it? Or how do you dislike it? Leave us a comment below, down below, and we will uh, let us know. We want to see what you guys think about Launcher 7. But guys, that is all the time we have for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. If you liked the video, please go ahead, hit the like button if you liked it. It takes one second to do so. I really have to support the show. And if you want to show your support towards the show even more, go ahead, hit the subscribe button right there for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. And you guys know this. We are on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And don't forget to check out our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for your latest mobile tech news outside of our videos. Guys, I've been your host, Joe Martin. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.